Alrighty, hello everyone. So it's a fresh new day as usual in the X Outland, and you might remember my neighbor Grim from the previous episode. Well, he has been pretty paranoid lately about getting raided ever since this massive server war began. So to start this episode off, I'm gonna be a terrible neighbor and I'm gonna prank him into thinking that he's about to get raided. So let's just see how this goes. Okay, so let's just try shooting an arrow at the lower fencing and see what happens. Okay, so now let's just hide and just have him wonder what's going on down there. Okay, so he hasn't said anything yet, so let's just shoot one more arrow and we'll just tell him it's us because, you know, we don't want to frighten him too long. Okay, let's go tell him it's us now. So I told him it's us and he definitely thought he was getting attacked because he's seen quite a few people just scouting his base around lately. But yeah, not the best prank, but let's just get the show started with. Enjoy, everyone. Alrighty guys, so here's the story. So on the 8th day since the server war began, nothing crazy really happened related to the server war. If you're interested in seeing what took place during the previous days, I will link all those days in the description down below. So on this specific day, the 8th day, we had one new clan emerge and they basically just started raiding noobs around the highlands but nothing really crazy. I did also do some PvP practice with my friend Galaxies and that's about it for the day. This fight that you're seeing right now is from that sparring session let me know if you're interested in seeing the entire sparring session i can upload it as an episode for my new sparring series so yeah we'll move on to the next day after this fight is over Alrighty, so moving on to the ninth day, I would say the most eventful thing that happened was a hacker stopped by the server and summoned about 15 gods on a solo player. Yeah, it was pretty brutal. The solo player was foundation wiped completely. Now, on the 10th day, I went after a 4-person clan that would constantly gang up on me during my scouting runs and had offline raided one of my shacks the day before. I waited until they were online and blew up their doors and I didn't really take anything. I just kind of wanted to scare them so that they would stop coming after me. This small raid wasn't that interesting at all since I didn't really want to waste my explosives on them and they just hid inside and repaired. After this raid, they stopped coming after me so I guess it worked in the end. Now, by the 11th day, the war had become an ordinary thing. The transferred clan had settled into the server and built an apex base with a constant god bubble. At this point, the server always had a 40 out of 40 population. There were always new people coming in and new clans that were emerging, but nobody that could really take on the transferred clan. Little did we all know though, that something was coming real soon. But what did I end up doing on this day? I basically just asked people on the server if they wanted a spar and I just ended up having a sparring session and practicing my PvP that day. Alrighty, so I took about two days off Conan to edit videos and all that and I came back on the 14th day and someone had asked for help in the chat because their purge was about to arrive. Nothing was really going on at the time so I offered to help them with the purge and so I went. Alrighty guys, so someone's asking for help in the chat because they're about to get hit by the purge and as you may have seen in my last video, I'm kind of the purge emergency service police so my duty to help them so i'm on my way and see if i can offer any assistance so here we are i just spoke to the owner already and he said that the purge should be arriving soon and he's pulling out all his thralls out here to help him defend so we'll see how this one goes hopefully it's not as crazy as the last one Oh man, I think the purge ended up spawning inside his base and he literally just took out all his thralls out here. Uh, I'm not too sure how I'm going to be able to help him now though. Okay, so I see that there's an opening up there and I'm going to try and climb it and see if I can help him fight because all his thralls are outside. Alright guys, so you know how I always mess up in some way in every video? Well, this video is no different as you're going to see. Just watch me screw up again. Oh no, I'm stuck. He 
yeah that was pretty bad i could have definitely have avoided that if i had used my brain but i didn't sadly so yeah after i ended up running back to their base and i was so scared the entire time i thought i was gonna lose my kid because you know it's not a crazy kit but it's also not cheap to me so i did make it back and watch what happens brace yourself oh man this guy's not gonna let me get in there Dang it, my kid's right there. Oh no. No, don't let me die again. Yes, I got it. Yeah, that really happened. Uh, it was pretty embarrassing. I definitely didn't want to include that in this video, but you know, it is what it is. That's just the reality of it. I do dumb stuff all the time. But yeah, I did end up running back again. And this time I was even more scared than before because now my body was more visible. Anyone could just loot it. So I was pretty scared that I was going to lose my kid. I was certain. Uh, this time around, I did bring a bedroll just in case I died for a third time, you know. <laughs> but I did make it back and I was able to get my loot, thankfully. Well, there we have it, guys. The purge is now over and we were able to contribute an absolute zero percent to helping out this player because we had to spend the entire time running back over and over alrighty so if you're still with me then awesome because we're almost at the really epic part of this story so right now we're still on day 14 and after I helped out with the purge I ended up going to sinkhole and I found a player there and this particular player had arrived with his clan a few days prior and I had heard that their clan was strong so considering I'm always down to pvp and train I challenged the leader to a naked fight and this fight that I'm showing right now this was our first fight and this is how it went Now that first fight didn't go my way at all so we ended up having a second fight and the second fight had the same end result. I was not able to defeat the leader of this clan. After losing twice to the leader I went ahead and asked another member of the clan if they wanted a pvp. They ended up accepting and here is that battle. So after this fight, I challenged a third member of the clan, and this is how it went. We did end up going at it again after this previous match but to keep it long story short it was a close match and I was not able to come out victorious. Well, it looks like the transfer clan is finally getting wiped. Do you guys remember the clan I fought at Sinkhole two days ago? Well, it turns out that they're actually here to exclusively wipe the transfer clan. And they're teaming up with the last native alpha clan this server has to wipe them. So this might actually be it. This might actually be the end. Let's go see how this plays out. <laughs> 